If you're like me, you are probably tired of missing emails from your clients and searching through endless email threads to find a message from your team. Watch this video to see how using a free app will literally change the way that you communicate in your business. My name is Rhonda Melogy, if we haven't met, and I am a systems strategist. Welcome to my channel. My goal is to protect your most valuable asset, your time. I do that by creating tools and resources to streamline your business processes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. So let's face it, email can be a deeper rabbit hole than Alice in Wonderland. But the easiest way, and I do mean the easiest way to avoid that wasteland, is to get out of your inbox and move your client, your team, even course communication to the free app Slack. I like to say to my team that I've slacked you. <laughs> Slack is a free instant messaging app that can be accessed on your phone. It can be an app on your computer or you can log into the dashboard. The free version of Slack is based on 10,000 messages and the amount of storage that it will hold. But don't worry, people are still using the free version. Trust me, it's gonna take you a long time to get to 10,000 messages. Let's hop on over to the Slack dashboard and I'm gonna help you get set up. So to get set up on Slack, you can do this a number of ways. You can either have the Slack app on your phone, which I do recommend. You can also install the Slack app on your laptop. You can also log in by going to the dashboard slack.com. So your workspaces, which you're gonna find here in your upper right-hand corner, are all of the workspaces that you are involved with. I'm gonna recommend that if you have individual clients that you create a workspace for each client. And this is just for privacy purposes. If you also have a team, you're gonna to wanna to create a workspace for them. And then I'm sure you'll be a part of other workspaces with other groups that you work with. To see all of those workspaces, you can click this purple button here and then you will have the drop down menu of all of the different workspaces that you are involved with. You can get started by simply entering in your email address and click get started. And then to sign in, if you already have Slack, you can sign in here with this little tab. But let's go ahead and act as if we have never set up Slack before. So let me put in an email. So the next step here is that you can either find a workspace that you are already a part of, or you can create a new workspace. You can see down here that I'm already signed into several workspaces below. But what I wanna do is to create a new workspace. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. Now what they have done is they have emailed me a six digit code. So I will enter in the code just to confirm I am who I say I am. Now. Here is where, what is the name of your company or team? So if you are working with a particular client, you're going to want to either use their business name or even the name of the client, and you can put that information here. Right now, I'm just gonna say test team. We'll click next. Now, what's a project your team is going to be working on? It's going to go ahead and set up a specific channel for you so let's say for example, you are a social media manager and you might be managing several different channels for this particular client. So let's just say we'll call it Pinterest and click next. Who else is going to be working on this project? So right here is where you can add team members or your client to now come in and take a look at the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for now so I can give you an overview of the dashboard. So now we're going to pop in and to see my channel in Slack. So when you access the dashboard for the first time, you're gonna see the channel that we created, which is Pinterest. And then you're also going to see the name of the workspace. And the name of the workspace, again, this could be either your team or this could be your client's name. If I click on the little button here, I'm going to be able to see other workspaces that I'm a part of. These are the various channels, so if you want to organize the content that you're going to have here in Slack, then you can create additional channels. And so the example that I gave you was that I am a social media manager, and one of the things that I want to specifically talk about is Pinterest, so I've created that channel. I don't have to put the hashtag, because when I go up here to click create a channel, I can just name the channel, we'll call it Facebook, and now we'll create the channel and now we see Facebook. 
this helps me to organize information for this particular client. So under direct messages, this is where both you and your client's name would appear if we had a client within this particular workspace. And how we're going to go about communicating or instant messaging your client is you will drop down here to the bar and you will add mention. So you will add mention your client's name and then they will get a message that you have sent them a message. A couple of things that you can do is you can add different pieces of content here with the plus sign. So if I click here, I can do that from a post or I can do this from my computer. So you could very easily, let's say we're just gonna add a screenshot and then it's going to add mention my client because I listed that information. I'll say, here is the graphic and then we'll go ahead and upload. And as soon as we do, then we're gonna see that information pop up right here. So let's talk about some of the things that you can actually do with a post. You can download, you can share the file, you can have more actions. If you click the three buttons, view details, copy the link to the file, you can star it, open original or rename, or you can create an external link or you can delete the file. You can also use the dashboard here in the upper right hand corner. So if I wanted to add an emoji, all I would do is to click the little emoji with a plus and let's say that I like that. And so now I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. So you can continue or your team can continue to add reactions. If I wanted to comment specifically on this particular post, then I would start a thread. So I would click the thread and I would now reply. So let's say I'm just going to at mention hello and say this looks great and click send. And so now you can see that there is one reply to this thread and so it kind of keeps everything organized. Another way if there's a particular comment here within the direct messages you can star that message because now we can go back and we can search. So if I go show starred items, I can come up here into the upper right hand corner and I can select show starred items. And now I'm going to see that message here. You could really organize content however best suits you. I recommend that if you're doing specific things that you are gonna to wanna to create those channels and then just make sure when you go to that particular channel, that you at mention your client. In this example, I'm just gonna at mention hello, which is just myself, but I would at mention my client and say, here is the content. And then I would add something for my computer for them to review, but all of this would have to do with Facebook. All right, and it's just a great way for you to organize the content based on Facebook. So that information will pop up. The last thing that I wanna cover here are the various integrations. If we look here at apps in order to add an integration, we can click the plus sign and there are several opportunities. You can do with Trello, Asana, Dropbox, Loom. There are lots, if this, then that, Zapier. So there are a lot of different integrations that you could use as we scroll through all of them that you can add to Slack. One of the things that I recommend is that you add one app at a time and be very comfortable in using that app before you start to add too many things within Slack. Slack is really your opportunity to get out of your inbox. It's just a great opportunity for you to keep everything really organized. You can access it again on your phone or on your laptop or through the URL. If you like today's video, please show me by hearting below. Make sure you comment and subscribe. If you want to join a community of women just like you, I have a private Facebook group, Strategy by Design, where I share free workshops and special guests to help you build an irresistible and profitable online presence.